decided that I should commemorate the new year with something, uh, you know, some sort of a landmark milestone kind of thing for Spooky Ventures, and also for Tales of Wonder and Dread, because they're, they're uh, joint operations, essentially. And um, so I decided to look back at some of the uh, highlights of the year, um, and we're going to do that with this video. So sit back and enjoy some of the highlights of Spooky Ventures and also some of the highlights of Tales of Wonder and Dread from the last year. And I should note that uh, Spooky Ventures just launched in the middle of the year, so we haven't even been around a full year yet. So these are just going to be highlights uh, since we launched in, uh, I believe, May. Um, now, there are a couple of other things I wanted to talk about, or at least show you guys, which um, I started doing, you know, the spooky places thing and shooting video, and I've done some cemeteries, and in the process, I caught a couple things I didn't expect. I'm going to show you both of those clips. The first one here was uh, from uh, Scandinavian Cemetery, and I was just shooting some video, and... Uh, just generally shooting around the cemetery and didn't notice anything until I got home and uh, was going over the video and both my wife and I just uh, stopped and kind of went, uh, what the heck? Because uh, you could clearly hear as I went past one of the graves with the video camera, you can clearly hear what sounds like a woman breathing. Now there was no one by me there, um, so and I didn't hear it when I was in person but it was just really odd. So I'll include that clip here, and then there's one more after that which I'll talk about. So the other unusual clip was when I was shooting in St. Mary's St. James Cemetery, and um, I walked past this series of uh, graves that were sort of near each other with a couple trees, and there was a wind chime hanging there. And after I walked past the wind chime, which there had been no wind because it had been perfectly still the entire time I'd been around it, after I walked past it, um, it clearly goes ding and then a little bit later you'll hear a couple more dings and that's it um, and I know I didn't bump into it you, you can almost see that as I, I filmed the round and um, it's not really moving like anyone hit it so it's just kind of an odd little bit of video too so that's one is included here
First, we should look at what uh, videos we've done that have been the most popular. And our most popular audiobook is the story An Unfinished Race by Ambrose Bierce. Um, our, our most uh, popular radio show is Quiet Please, The Other Side of the Stars. And uh, for Spooky News, our October 4th edition is our most popular. Um, and I believe that's our second most popular video. Um, for interviews, our interviews with Rochelle Young is our interview with Rochelle Young is the most popular we've done. And for spooky places, Rockford, Illinois Marsh Cemetery is the most popular one we've done. And spooky reviews, the Coal Shack and Dan Curtis connection and continuum has been our most popular video under that category. Um, so you know, I'll include links to all of those here in the details and also uh, in the video so you'll be able to um, have a look at those again if you miss them. Uh, like I said, those are the most popular ones we've done. There were a couple personal highlights this year which also relate to uh, Spooky Ventures and Spooky uh, and Tales of Wonder and Dread. Um, both of them involve horror hosts Sven Gulli, Rich Coase. Uh, my wife Diana and I got to meet him, and that was one of those two highlights. And the other is we gave him a copy of Spooky Berwin, and he actually featured it on an episode of uh, his show. So, well, at least he spoke about it, and and showed it actually featured it a little heavier than some of the other things he shows on there. So those were uh, two of the highlights of the year, and uh, video of, of that is included here. to yourself. All right. Meanwhile, I've got to hand it to Gary Hill along with his wife, Diane, and others who put together a book of nonfiction and fictional spooky stories set in the Chicago suburbs, which he named Spooky Berwin. Berwin. Darn right. In the book's introduction, he explains the title as an homage to me and my show, which he's a big fan. It also mentions a Berwin establishment that's said to be haunted, Cigars and Stripes Barbecue Lounge, which coincidentally always turns on our show every Saturday night. We're going to watch the movie with you. They do. Gary, we're certainly honored to be mentioned in your book. And let me mention that you should check out all the information at Svengooley.com, hit the theme for us, Chaz. In terms of Tales of Wonder and Dread Publishing, we released quite a few books over the year, uh, but I'm just going to focus on the spooky ones we've done, since this is Spooky Ventures. We launched the uh, Rockford's Final Resting Places series, and uh, the first four books in that series are out. And those cover... Um, Those cover Greenwood and Cedar Bluff cemeteries in Rockford, Guilford and Turner and Guilford Union cemeteries, Arlington Memorial Bar Park Cemetery and Union Cemetery, and Marsh and Scandinavian cemeteries. And um, they're mostly pictures. Uh, there's some text in each of them, but they're uh, very picture-heavy books.
lots and lots of photos. So uh, that whole series launched this year. Other books from uh, Tales of Wonder and Dread that published in the year is, are, starts with Spirited Classics. That's a collection of old classic ghost stories. Uh, we've got the two Lovecraftian books, uh, which are basically sister books, Lovecraftian Branches and Lovecraftian Roots. Uh, now, Branches is... Uh, all made up of stories um, from authors that H.P. Lovecraft uh, wrote about enjoying and you know some of them he considered some of his favorites and uh, quite a few stories in here. Um, sorry I'm showing branches when I'm talking about Roots. Roots is here um, and you get the Willows by Algernon Blackwood, uh, The Yellow Sign by Robert W. Chambers, Idle Days on the Yan by Lord Dunsany, Lost Hearts by M.R. James, The White People by Arthur Mar Mansion, Out of the Deep by Walter de Mare, de la Mare, uh, The Facts in the Case of M. Valdemar by Edgar Allan Poe, and The House of Sounds by Matthew Phipps Shield. Now, in terms of Lovecraftian branches, that one includes a number of H.P. Lovecraft stories along with uh, some newer uh, stories from people. Um, I have two stories in there, The Stars and The Debut Tour. Um, W.H. Pugmire has Recom Recompense of Sorrow. Uh, Eric Danhoff has Warm, The Bibliophile from Henrik uh, Sandbeck Harkson, Harkson is in there, and The Hillside Altar by Del Merritt is also in there. Now. Um, both of those books, W.H. Uh, Pugmire, Willem, uh, gave me the rights to that story, uh, and then within a few weeks or so of that, he uh, went, went, got ill and uh, ultimately died. Um, so in honor of that, both of those books, a portion of it goes to his estate. Um, so those are those two books. Next up, we have... Uh, Spectral Stories, which uh, is a collection of ghost stories. I have um, one in there. There's one from Bill Camp, Mike Korn, and Kevin Wood also have contributed stories. And then there are cl classic stories, classic ghost stories uh, from uh, William Harrison Ainsworth, John Kendrick Bangs, E. Marion Crawford, M.R. James, Margaret Oliphant, Edgar Allan Poe, and Edith Wharton. And next up, we did Spooky Berwin, which is uh, spooky stuff in the uh, Chicago suburbs, and Spooky Rockford 2, which of course is the sequel to Spooky Rockford, which we did the year before, and all about spooky stuff in the Rockford area now. Uh, spooky Rockford 2 has a couple uh, photo galleries, Tinker Swiss Cottage and uh, Rockford Cemeteries, and one fiction story from Mike Korn, and then everything else is... Uh, uh, non-fiction spooky stories around the area and Spooky Berwin has one photo gallery uh, although a lot of the articles also have photos and uh, that photo gallery is Bachelors Grove Cemetery and there are three fiction stories in there uh, Kevin Wood, uh, myself and Duane Pesais all contributed uh, fiction stories and then the rest is all non-fiction around spooky stories in that area and then the final book we did was Spooky Fiction, which uh, is a, basically a collection of stories from it's sort of a best of the year before, from uh, the first year of Spooky, or uh, Tales of Wonder and Dread, and it includes uh, a number of my stories, plus uh, Joseph Sheridan, LaFanu, uh, M.R. James, H.P. Lovecraft, and Hume Nishet, all stories, sort of collects stories from a number of the different books we've done over the year. So that uh, catches you up on Tales of Wonder and Dread for 
2019. And that's it for our look back at 2019 for Spooky Ventures and Tales of Wonder and Dread. I hope you've enjoyed this little time machine journey. Um, on Friday we'll be back with a regular spooky news and we'll see you then. Oh, and Happy New Year's and keep it spooky. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com And remember, Always keep it spooky.